o'clock. We'll go ahead and call ourselves to order. Plus, everybody stand. We'll do the pledge of allegiance. I'm waiting for everybody here. Real quick. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. <clears throat> Councilwoman Fletcher. Here. Councilman Wooden. Here. Mayor Fletcher. Here. Recorder Sander. Councilwoman Vickers. Councilman Sander. <coughs> Councilman Dowdy. Attorney McKenna. We do have a quorum. Fairly. <laughs> All right. Next thing is the approval of the minutes from May 21st. Somebody will make a motion to approve the events May 21st. I'll make the motion. Okay. And total motion. Mm -hmm. Have a second? Second. Second. Mark. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed like so? So ordered. Uh, the May 24th financial statements, John. Yeah, if you take a look at the um, financial statement, we had a uh, sign. Income for the month of uh, May of $54,576.59. Expenses for the month of $54,322.56. Um, for actually a surplus of $254 for the month. Um, expenses, everything is right in line. There's nothing really um, out of the ordinary other than you know, taxes, um, BIA, um, on the expense side, on the receipt side, you will see the only thing really is um, a larger B&O tax from Tri-State Roofing for $17,052.11. Other than that, I think everything else is pretty much in line. So if you have any questions. Any questions about the financials? If not, we'll entertain the motion they be approved and it's not presented. Motion. Motion by Michael. We have a second. I'll second. Second by Nicole. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed like sign? So ordered. Motion carried. All right. Uh, old business. The new excavator and trailer uh, has been purchased. It is at the uh, sanitation plant. Uh, we are, uh, they did do some training and everything with it. And uh, uh, with it and also the uh, uh, the new uh, jetter. We're going to make up a couple forms just to uh, document when it's ran, where it's at, at what addresses, things like that. We haven't been real great about all the, keeping the addresses down, places we're going to, and all that. So we're going to take care of that. So that'll be updated and be in service next week here. Uh, everybody's off for the next two days here. So uh, I don't believe anybody through here at City Hall for two days. And then, Come in, finish out Friday, and go home. Uh, the Thrasher contract uh, asks you to give the mayor authorization to sign on behalf of the town. Somebody will put that in the form of a motion to approve that Thrasher contract that we talked about last month. So moved. So moved by John. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Michael. All those in favor, Steve Bob, say aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. So ordered. All righty. Uh, update the RIC meeting and, uh, on June 13th, Regional Intergovernmental Council. And uh, a couple things picked up on that is uh, 
<clears throat> the Larry Conley Memorial Bridge up on the upper end. Uh, they're going to do a rehab sometime later on this year on that bridge, paint and all that. Uh, it's, it's in there at like one, one and a half million dollars. So, uh, so that is going to uh, be something that's taken care of uh, this year. And then the, uh, the second thing was uh, uh, Rick and uh, told him we had the $4,000 that we got for the uh, sidewalks and, and uh, uh, work and everything there. So they're working on putting that together. And so we can go out to bids and everything on the preparation and everything. So those were the two things really that I brought up with Rick this past week. So uh, for the town of Bell, so, so we got those. Uh, new business, uh, the new schooler program. Let me just pass these out. Like this is a program, it's a uh, program that's been around for a few years. They actually called a few weeks ago. It's uh, on work-based learning. It is for uh, kids and everything. Uh, and the good thing about it is, is the, uh, the people that's uh, got this going and everything, they'll actually send like uh, life coaches in with them. Uh, they'll actually uh, work with the kids here. So actually Adam or someone like that doesn't actually have to stay with them at any time. And uh, so uh, we thought the best thing, and I had Adam in here with me, and uh, we thought the best thing would be uh, taking care of, uh, you know, uh, sidewalks and things like that for painting, sorry Ray, and uh, being able to do that. So uh, I'd like to ask for a motion that we, uh, what, what's the age limit? Uh, I think you're anywhere from 17 to 20, 21. And, uh, but, uh, and the, key, the coach would actually work with them, teach them, show them how to paint, things like that. So some of these probably haven't ever even held a paintbrush. Uh, Are they um, like right here in Canal County? Uh, from? Yeah, yeah, between uh, usually Charleston and Montgomery, they say. And, but they'll uh, so bring this coach in with them and everything. Do they uh, bear the like yep. insurance on this? They cover all the workers' comp, the insurance umbrella that's under the uh, state of West Virginia. So uh, there is no liability for participating partners in that aspect. So I'll ask for a motion that we allow uh, this group, New School Scholars, to uh, bring some kids in. I'll make the motion to bring them in. Okay. So we've got a motion by Nicole. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mike. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed like so? So we're. It's a win win. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good program, I thought. And Adam, he said, hey, I need some help. So, so we're trying to do what we can. Um, I've got also uh, <clears throat> some quotes here. <clears throat> this is to reinstall the uh, lights on the four poles down by the uh, fishing pier and the uh, park and playground area. Uh, those were actually taken down when we did the uh, sanitation plant. I've had a couple people look at this and everybody's telling me, well, we don't have a bucket truck or anything. So we had this CR dammer and uh, he just paid some B&O tax. Uh, he put in the uh, uh, generator down there at the bank. And uh, so uh, to remove the existing lights off of four poles, he'll put in four new uh, LED lights on the poles. And then actually he'll bring a bucket truck in there and then cut back the uh, shrubbery and everything from all around those lines and the poles itself. I told him that you know, just lay all that there, we'll haul away. Uh, and then also uh, with the bucket truck fuel, this will permit fees. I told him we wouldn't have any there. Uh, but uh, his total price is $4,000. And a couple people said that they thought that was a pretty good price. And uh, I know I couldn't get anybody to touch it before. So uh, I'd like to see that get done. The police have actually said, hey, it's dark down there. 
So what's the pleasure? I make a motion to uh, accept the bid for four thousand dollars to actually install and clear the lines from the tree or the trees from the lines. Okay. Any second? I'll second. Second. Oh, All right. All right. Second to Michael. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Like so. So ordered. Thank you. Uh, next, John, request from a resident to settle due amount on the municipal fee. We have a resident that uh, no longer lives here. She rented a house here, and her municipal fees, um, she is on the front door. Um, her balance due was $2,429.30. Um, she is asking for a settlement amount. She is requesting that we cut that in half, which would be 12, 15. Um, I'll tell you that out of the 24, 29, 30 cents, $1,758 of that is interest. Um, so the majority of that is interest. 1,000 what, John? 758, 70, 17, 58, 70. I will also say, for the year 2023, the last payment she made was July 31st. 2023, she paid about $1,300 that year, last year. So she did make some payments on that. Um, but she also quit paying in um, July, July 31st, so August. She wanted to pay $1,250, you said? She's asking to cut that balance due in half. I told her I can't make that determination that I would have to bring to council. So. I know what we had done before for Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell. Yeah. Um, we split the cost, we split the um, interest with him. So if he owned his 2000 in interest, we Eight half and he paid half, I guess you would say so. In this case, you know, we're looking at approximately nine hundred dollars. You know, that's about eight. Well, if we if the interest is seventeen fifty eight seventy, we're looking about eight seventy to split that. Yeah. And then the difference between the twenty four and the seventeen is seven seven hundred seventy one dollars. So they would pay the eight seventy. Plus the 771, if we did the same thing we did for Mr. Campbell. Right. So, with that being said, uh, she would owe us $1,641, which is what we had done on some others. Uh, we would split half of the interest and then they would pay the difference because that's her Correct. $20 Correct. a month. Right. So, the, the request should be for like $1,641. I mean, I think pleasure. if we've done that before, we should probably be consistent. Yeah, with. That's, that's what we've been consistent with. Mm -hmm. So you want to put that in the form of a motion that we offer $1,641 yeah, as the uh, payoff? Yeah, for the 1641 Okay, so we've got a motion by Nicole. We have a second? Second. Second by Michael. I think she's going to go for that. Oh, she'll probably agree to talk about it. I'd be very surprised if it's okay. Sure sure. okay. Um, okay. Yeah. okay, so we got the I motion second for $1,641. Uh, all those in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Any opposed like saying so ordered. Uh, approval of invoices, nothing. Mm -hmm. Personnel issues. <coughs> I'm going to mention uh, that we uh, had a. Uh, an application from Christian Thomas Kessler uh, from Simmons Creek. He has worked for us a couple times on the uh, uh, street department and uh, uh, he's asking to come back to work. He would be available on July the 1st. Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I will say when he worked for us, it was yeah. summer help. So yeah. it wasn't someone who we hired and quit. He was hired in summer help. Yeah, and I'm just saying let's hire him for summer help right now and if he works out well. Uh, he'd like to maybe see about a full-time job. So, so somebody will put that form of motion that we hire him uh, at the uh, uh, part-time pay. Motion to hire. 
Okay, motion by uh, Michael. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second by McCole. All those in favor of saying aye. 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 He, um, Adam and them really liked him. They yeah. didn't want to see him leave last year. Yeah. Um, and keep in mind, we have not hired several girls at all. So this will really. This is Dave Kessler's grandson. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. He was a hard worker last year. Yeah. Last yeah. Summer, so. He was a good man. Okay. Um, yeah, it's. it's, it's yeah. Alrighty, the uh, next thing you got is the uh, police department report. Do they have anything there that. <clears throat> I don't know if you've looked at it yet or not. But, uh... I know that our one gentleman on Canal Street, Dave, I know that the sheriff, they were looking at releasing him. Is he still in jail though, isn't it, today? He, he didn't get released. He did not get released. He actually went for a magistrate last week. He, uh, <clears throat> I saw a note Friday evening from a uh, prosecutor, <clears throat> and he had actually stated that uh, he feels like he still needs some help. And that he doesn't feel like that he should be released. Well, hopefully. So, needless to say, they denied the bond and didn't do anything because uh, the call I got on Thursday was is that they were going to release him under a PR bond and send him home. So, I'm glad right now that they haven't done that. I know they probably haven't charged you this, but it's. Is he open to getting help while he's in there? Uh, not really. He thinks he needs to go to a facility. And that hadn't been done yet. That's where I had the call with the uh, DHHR people. It didn't go too well. Yeah. Uh, I think I called them a couple names. <laughs> and uh, so then I called the governor's office on Friday. So well, he's calling him a couple names. He's calling him a couple names right now, too. <laughs> looking into it now. So uh, okay. we'll see what the governor's office comes back, and they're supposed to be talking to DHHR. And making the things right that uh, I think I posed in that in, in some statements. It's a shame that someone who really needs help. It is. It is. You just cannot get it. Right. Anybody have anything about the report? Anything? See anything else? If not, we'll move forward. Uh, next thing we got then is items from the mayor. <clears throat> Let me tell you a couple things that's going on. Tomorrow, West Virginia Water is coming back to town, uh, and uh, they're going to look at some new water projects here in Bell, replacing some lines. And we're going to be up on uh, Riverview Drive in the morning, and they're going to put some new lines in from there all the way around towards 6th Street and 7th Street, and then up around the 13th Street, and then connect some lines into the large lines at go up through Bell. So uh, hmm. supposed to meet with them at nine o'clock. So I told them, I said, well, we're working on sewer and storm drain work. And I said, it'll work, work out well. So that way we can get that done and all that. So uh, the uh, excavator is in, and I think I mentioned that earlier, but uh, it is ready to go. So we're, uh, we're ready to use it if we need it. So, we got that, and uh, things are things are good there. Uh, I think that's did I mention Larry Conley Bridge and all that? Yep, I think I'm good. All right. So uh, next thing's item from council. Uh, Attorney Cole. Attorney. Huh? Attorney. Oh, town attorney. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave. The only thing I have is that uh, forty requests up to the draft response. The first item. Uh, looks to be okay. Uh, the budget, uh, we could, uh, if we can prepare that in uh, electronic format yeah. and uh, uh, send that to them along with my response. 
The second part contains a request for a lot of information that's personal, and I don't think we need to uh, respond to that. I'll put down an exemption for that. If it meets with everybody's approval, we can get that out in the next day or two. Yeah, I'll get that out. Um... I mean, you can, uh, if you want to use my letterhead, that's fine. If you yeah, just I'll... want to cut and paste. <clears throat> no, I'll scan that in with the digital um, uh, budget, and then I'll also file that on six or six. You, no, what I can do is uh, I can uh, sign a letter, and, or I can sign that letter and leave it yeah. there, and you can scan it. I'll have you sign it. It's perfect. That'd be good. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. That it, Ray? Yeah. Good. Items from Council Nicole. I got a couple things or a few things. <laughs> All right. Um, we have a street shower tonight. One of the kids asked about coming to ice. We're going to do that again. I think we should do that again. Okay. So with that, I was also thinking other dates for street shower because all we did was through June. We didn't do anything in July. Okay. So we want to just rotate like that Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday. Yeah. Thursday again? Yeah. Okay, for July? Yeah. I'm not might, sure. Might, we might miss July 4th. Well, we'll miss that July 2nd that week. Because <clears throat> July 4th is Thursday. Mm -hmm. We can do it the 2nd. That's a Tuesday. If we're on Thursday next week, so then we'll make it Tuesday the next week. Let's just skip that week. Okay. Go, go a week out. Okay. Let's do some people from the other day. Okay. So, when you want so, to do the Oh, well, I was thinking ice. probably do it like for one, one of the last ones. Okay. So you go call him and see if you can maybe get Maybe shoot for that last week, July 1st of August. You go call him? Yeah, I'll call him and see if I can get him. Okay. Call him and see what he says. And then my second thing is we always want to put stuff in these empty lots. And I want to throw out the idea of maybe a pickleball court. Yeah. Okay. I was talking to John about that. I did talk to Night Crew today. Night Crew did build one. Uh, it cost twenty-seven thousand dollars for the uh, uh, the cement, and then they put about another ten thousand dollars in it with the uh, paint and the striping and all that. So they've got about $37,000 is what City Nitro has. That's why I looked at daily like $30,000 to $35,000. Yeah. So. I, I think if we do that, I mean, I, I'm all for that. <coughs> it's hot as could be right now. But I was telling Dave that I still think we need to at least put a basketball rim down there somewhere, too. Yeah. Um, a lot of the kids like that, and they don't have anywhere to mm -hmm. play, when, especially when there's not open gym. I, I'm not saying we have to have a full court, but if we could do, like the half court. yeah, I think that'd be good for the kids. Mm -hmm. The only thing that concerns me is, I, growing up, I lived beside a basketball court, and sometimes 11 o'clock at night, you would hear <laughs> boom, 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 mm -hmm. and um, there are some <coughs> evenings we don't have a police officer on duty. If you live up there, uh, I don't know. I, I, again, I still think we have to have something for the kids. Yeah. So I don't want to be turned away from that. But anyway. And no matter where we put it on the empty lots, we're probably going to have that same situation no matter where it goes. It's frustrating, but I'd rather have the kids playing basketball. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's basketball. Well, they can't develop great schools if they take the. There was a little portable basketball yeah. room out oh, there, okay. but I think they. Yeah, they took down the basketball court there yeah. years ago when they built that. Um, oh, they're paying attention. Yeah. And what they got on the other end, they keep locked up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, uh, well, let me go back and, and re-look at the uh, asphalt and uh, see if we can do asphalt and all that on that lot down there. And okay. I was thinking about the bow property. Uh, trying to do it there mm -hmm. and keep them away from the uh, uh, the ash property up there in the river bank and all that. Plus, we talked about 
putting the uh, parking for vehicles and everything up there for the uh, kayak canoe launch. And that was one other thing I had. I did talk to Occidental Chemical today. And now they've changed their mind again. Now they say they're going to deed that property to us. Uh, but it might be three or four months out. So, uh, uh, but at least it sounds like they reversed what they were going to do. They first said they were just going to lease it to us. And then there's also a plan for the park area and all that. But uh, we will probably end up with that on a lease. So uh, but that'll probably be sometime next year uh, is what they're saying now. So I'll have somebody look at that asphalt and everything and see what we can do there. And then okay. we'll probably have to go out and try to find some money uh, and do that. So. We could use any of that pay. So, huh? Yeah. I'm already paying. I know it's like ALT, yeah. ARP. Yeah. I don't think you need um, Yeah. That's probably not a permissible thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's a, yeah. I don't think it's something you can use. Okay. <coughs> I think probably have to get in and see the uh, uncle commissioners. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got 6,000 coming out. Yeah. 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 Y
All those in favor of seeing five say no. Any opposed like seven. Let me see. Seven thirty. <laughs> <laughs>